CBS Young and the Restless Spoilers, Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023. Diane has always believed in Jack, and she's been waiting for her release date for a long time. Being in solitary confinement, it felt like everything was falling apart. Diane's spirit was not as sharp as before, and Diane felt much worse. Diane is currently being charged with the murder, assault, and murder of Phyllis, but Chance didn't have any concrete evidence. He just protected so, and kept extending the detention order. This is wrong for the law, but he has his own reasons. There's nothing Michael and Christine can do, because this is Chance's right. They just applied to bail Diane out. Diane's health is getting worse and worse, and she wants to get out. She wants to go back to a normal life. Ashley and Billy see Jack change so much, he gets angry and tired when Diane has to go to prison, then he neglects all his work at Jabbit just to protect the person he loves. The current situation is that Jabbit does not have a CEO, is not guaranteed by anyone. Jack needs to have a life of his own. Billy and Ashley nominate themselves for the position of CEO, but because of their rigidity and stubbornness, Jack disagrees. He thinks they are not worthy. The brotherly relationship between them became more and more strained. Michael tells Jack that if Phyllis really died, then Diane would spend at least five to seven years in prison. There is not a single piece of evidence that favors her. Michael and Jack's secret relationship is what we can feel. Diane and Jeremy have a connection with each other. The evidence, the messages have, the police have collected made this clear, but Jack doesn't believe it. He thinks Chance is just trying to fabricate evidence. Summer had accidentally revealed to Chance that Phyllis was alive, and now he's asking her for accurate information on the matter. Where is Phyllis? How to contact her? But Summer refuses. As a result, Chance is threatening to arrest Summer because she is hiding Phyllis's crime, becoming an accomplice. Summer never betrayed her mother. She realized the true nature of Chance. There's no cooperation here. He's just using her to achieve his goals. That's the wretchedness we can see. Harmony was announced to appear, and she did this crazy thing. She appeared in front of Abby and Dominic. Hug this baby and tell her that this is her grandson. She will take care of it from now on and ask Abby to leave this house. Harmony just showed up. It's unbelievable. Devin warned his mother not to be stupid, to stay calm, and don't hurt anyone. Elena and Audra have met. They are ready to plan an attack on Victoria, complicate things. Nate and Victoria's relationship will be destroyed. Elena calls JT and asks him for help. Go back to Genoa. Don't run away. Genoa will riot with his arrival. Nick gets nervous when he hears that JT is alive and back. He asks Victoria to leave Nate. Never show up again. Let the stupid romance rest in peace. Nate doesn't deserve it.